Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video. So today, it's sort of a similar video to what I uploaded yesterday, but today we're going to be going over how Uranus's rings could have formed here. So, this is actually a similar theory to Saturn. This is the only one I know about, but yeah, this is going on the same lines of how Saturn's could have formed. But it's slightly different because there's an interesting like twist to this almost. So, let's um go ahead and start this off. So, the, all the focus today is going to be on Uranus's moon Miranda here. So... It's a tiny tiny little moon here, it's not even textured yet, I really hope they texture it at some point, but yeah. The interesting thing about this moon is, if you look at a real image of it, you can see that the surface just doesn't make sense. It looks like a jigsaw puzzle, where all of the pieces are slotted in the wrong place almost, that's like an example. But yeah, so it looks like all the pieces are in the wrong place, so the theory is with this, is that it got hit by some asteroid or something. So, it probably would have been closer to Uranus at this point, so let's remove the moons. And probably all of these moons here in the ring system probably wouldn't have existed at this point because they are very small. But anyways, let's get back to the point. So, Uranus here. So, um, let's move Miranda closer to Uranus. So, like that. And let's also um, make its orbit all even out. So, let's do that. So, it's probably very, very close to Uranus at this point. Let's pull it um, at a safe distance. So, somewhere like this maybe. So, like that. Now, it probably would have been a little bigger as well because if it made the rings, it would have lost a bit of mass. But, so, it's... Um, Make it yeah, sound like a little bigger, yeah, sound like that. So it's actually got a coloured surface and stuff. So let's reload it, just make it white, because that's the colour it should be. Wait, is it gonna work? Like, please? Okay, we're gonna have to keep it like that. Alright, so let's um let's put it a little further out actually. So yeah, it was it was a safe distance from Uranus. But anyways, let's um reload it in like yeah, so auto orbit. Okay, that's not what I wanted, damn it. Alright, um please. Uh, I've just goofed it up. Oh, no, no, I haven't. All right, so we put it like that, and then we do that. There we go. So, something like that. So, it's, it's not perfect, I know, guys, but, yeah, it'll, it'll get the job done. Like, it looks pretty much in line. So, yeah, there we are. So, then this would have... So, yeah, just pretend Uranus is a few billion years old now, and everything's going well. But, same thing to do with Saturn's system is a moon or an asteroid or something probably collided with Miranda so um okay that's a little too big so yeah because this moon is very small remember so let's get a um, small moon yeah something like that okay that will work so and it probably would have been coming from the direction like probably went past the planet and hit Miranda so it's either another moon that was um another moon that um what's the word yeah, another moon that was um part of Uranus or it came out of nowhere it probably wasn't part of the Uranus system but the thing is here is that it would have probably would have hit Uranus here and done this. So this is one of the theories you got to remember because there is two theories for Uranus's um, rings and we'll get onto that in a minute. But yes, yeah, so a similar thing to Saturn is um, Miranda could have been hit by a, um, a moon here and it would have lost a lot of mass. So it would have gone smaller to its like current size. So it's about 240, I think it was like, something like that. So it would have been made a lot smaller and there would have been a lot of... Um, also, a lot of debris after this. Let's just collide two more moons there. And actually, let's explode this one. So, like that. Just so we get a little more fragments. So, yeah, there we go. And then Miranda, as you can see, would have been pushed away from Uranus into its current position. So, let's quickly um speed this up. So, it was... um Wait, let me please let me zoom in. Alright, so there we go. So, then we'll pull it to where it... Or somewhere similar to where it is now. So, it's a safe distance away from Uranus um, now. So, it's... um zoom out and I think it was somewhere there maybe I want to say so it would have stayed there please orbit again all right so there we go we'll just leave we'll just leave it like that for now because it's all good so we don't need Miranda anymore and then the thing is with Miranda is its surface would be very molten and maybe a lot of fragments would have would have hit it again or another thing is the whole moon could have been torn apart and gravity brew, um, brought it back together as it was sa a safe distance from Uranus here so it got it, it got smashed into and it got pushed away but all that debris or any of the debris would have um, came back together. So, um, oh, what's it, how do I explain this? It's quite hard. So, long story short, it gets hit by another moon or asteroid. It gets pushed away, but it, because it got hit, it got destroyed completely. But gravity brought it back together to form a, the object again. So it's probably a completely different object to what it used to be. But it got smashed apart, and then it actually brought itself back together. But some of those fragments never came back to Miranda. And then they would have became part of the Uranus system. So let's make this so many objects here. So hit auto orbit. And then something like this would have happened. I can't get in the right way, Sally. But yeah, pretend that it's the other way around. Like that. And then they would have began to make a ring system. So yeah, that is that on the Miranda theory. So I don't know if there's anything on Google about this. Because I did find about this or find out about this long ago when I was actually just a kid, actually. Like it was on a um I think it was something from the BBC, um, 
something called The Planets. It was a series they used to do, like lo- like in the late 90s or early 2000s, and it was about well, it was about the gas giants, and there was a theory on the gas giant episode about how Uranus's rings or the moon Miranda was destroyed, and then it put itself back together, and then some of that debris could have made the rings. But anyways, let's go into um, another Uranus system, and then the next theory is, so let's pause this, remove the rings, and then actually put Uranus... So let's actually, um, yeah, we won't, we'll just do a new simulation, actually. So let's put um, Uranus down, but this time we're going to pull it the way it should be. So we're going to pull it up like a normal planet would be. So similar to like Venus or Mercury or something. So it's pointing the right way up. The North Pole's at the top, South Pole's at the south. And then this theory is that, so we're going to say like an Earth-like object, because this thing would have been pretty big. But So let's just get this random exoplanet here. So another object... Similar to the Saturn theory where it got too close to Saturn, but this time, instead of getting too close to Saturn and being torn apart, it actually collides with Uranus here. So, another stray planet, or just another planet completely, is actually going to collide with Uranus here. So, let's um, get it in here. So, they're going to get a good collision going here. So, there we are. And then this collision, because that object was so large, it's actually going to push Uranus on its side like this. And then, a lot of the debris from that explosion actually creates the rings so something like this so that explosion pushed uranus on its side and then some of the fragments all flew away from uranus and then uranus's gravity caught them and then they orbit started orbiting uranus like this and then that is that like there we go there's a massive impact right now but uranus was knocked on its back pretty much and then there we are so those rings formed and yeah poor uranus is now getting this weird um, way um, of orbiting the sun. So let's um, load up a new simulation here, just a completely default one. So let's go to the good old solar system here. And then if we look at Uranus here, so let's zoom in, hit the enter bar, speed it up. All right, so if we zoom in, we can see it's permanently on its side now. And then if we um, do a whole year on Uranus, let's speed this up. As we can see, so this is probably, I think this is the South Pole. So as we can see, the South Pole, half of the year is in darkness. And then the next part of the year, well, there's the South Pole or the North Pole in the daylight now. So now the North Pole is in daylight, but the other half of the year, the North Pole is all in darkness, and then the South Pole is in the light, and then it pretty much happens for half a year, where both sides of Uranus get half the light of the sun each, and then the other side goes into darkness, so as we can see here, poor old Uranus is in a very, very strange orbit, all due to this possible planet, which could have hit it and made those, mo- or hit it and created those rings. So let's go back to um, Uranus' um, simulation again. So let's go in here, and as you can see, there's loads of moons in the, or these tiny little moons inside the ring system. So what these probably are, they're probably, um, yeah, they're a little larger than these other fragments, but they're large enough to be classed as moons. So they're in the ring system because these tiny objects here, these little moons, are actually remains of the large object which are large enough to be classified as moons. So that massive planet that hit it, or we think, so the massive object that hit this, um, okay, that's too big. Yeah, so this massive planet that actually collided with Uranus, all the fragments that spread out and became the rings, some of them actually became proper moons of Uranus. So I really, and then all of the um, other moons would have became on this tilted orbit since Uranus's like um, equator is now on its side. So all the other moons' orbits would have all been tilted as well. So pretty crazy stuff. And yeah, here's Titania, the largest moon of Uranus actually. Not very large if you compare it to um, Titan, which is the largest Saturn. And then our good old moon as well. This moon, largest of moon of Uranus, is actually very very small. But it's a little smaller than Pluto, I believe. Yeah, tiny little bit. And larger than Pluto's moon. Yeah, quick comparison. Going off topic here. But yeah, there we are. So, that is all that for this video. So, there's only two theories I have for Uranus. and Because I don't really know much else. I'm not really... Don't research Uranus much. Since we don't really know much about it. Since we only visited it once with Voyager 2. Like, stuff with Jupiter and Saturn. We visited them multiple times. So, we know more about them. But Uranus and Neptune, we don't really know much about. So, yeah, that is that for this... Um, video so hopefully you guys all enjoyed um it's basically like a part two to the one yesterday so if you want me to do um one about jupiter or neptune's rings yeah please leave a comment down below because that'd be pretty interesting i'd actually have to do some research to find this out because i know about uranus and saturn but i've never actually looked into how jupiter or neptune's rings were made because neptune has something called ring arcs which are like rings that aren't fully like completed there's like massive gaps in between them and stuff not visible to the naked eye, you have to use like cameras and stuff to spot them, but Voyager 2 luckily caught them, because people did predict that there was rings, but there was a massive discussion in NASA that I believe that people didn't know that it was um, actually a, system, a ring system there, but then they did debunk it, because when Voyager 2 found out, but anyways, that's enough of that, I'll leave that for another video if you guys want to see that, so yeah, if you want to see that about Jupiter or Neptune, yeah, leave a comment down below saying, 
yeah, tell me how the rings of Jupiter or Neptune made. That's something like that. And obviously, if you've got ideas for another video, also leave that down below because that would be awesome. But anyways, that is it. So um, yeah. I think I've said everything, so yeah, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, because our subscriber count has been going up crazy right now, so yeah, make sure you join our journey to 500 before the end of the month, or the end of the month, because that would be pretty cool, but anyways, yeah, so make sure you guys all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video, goodbye.